What's up everybody, I'm Chase Lee and welcome back to another movie review and the movie I'm going to be reviewing right now is A Kid Like Jake. Now this one comes from IFC Films and is directed by Silas Howard and it stars Claire Danes and Jim Parsons as a couple who have a four-year-old named Jake who Jake has a lot of influencers around his life and a lot of teachers that go beyond the home life that kind of address his parents and go, hey, you know, given Jake's behavior and, you know, his uh, interest in dresses and princesses and a bunch of girl girl toys, it's their kid toys, uh, uh, they kind of address that he might be transgender. And so they want to make sure that, you know, Jake is safe when they're enrolling him into a school so he doesn't get bullied and, you know, all this stuff. And so the whole movie kind of focuses on Jim Parsons and Claire Danes trying to deal with the fact that their child is transgender in this really cruel world and how um, they're going to set him up uh, to enter the world, uh, essentially. You know, is, are they going to prepare him or, you know, are they going to do whatever it takes to um, make sure he is protected? Like, you know, just do whatever it takes to make sure their child knows that they're transgendered and to know that it's all right. And of course to watch out for bullies and a bunch of a-holes out there. So that's kind of like what we're dealing with, with the movie. And so, you know, I didn't really even know this movie existed, um, was not on my radar. I usually follow IFC, uh, pretty closely and I was kind of frustrated. I was like, um, I never heard of this movie. This came out during the summer. What? Um, and you, if you look up the trailer on YouTube, it's got like millions of views. And I was like, I didn't watch this trailer. <laughs> Must have flew under the radar. But, you know, but I, I like IFC for the most part. And so I'm really curious to see how, uh, one, this subject matter is going to be portrayed. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Jim Parsons. Um, I'm not a huge Big Bang Theory fan, but I want to see him go beyond that and start his career because everything he's done outside of that show so far has been kind of meh to kind of bad. Um, and so I really want to see him kind of branch out and do some really like just meaty dramatic roles. And so that's what I was looking forward to the most was those two things. So I'm going to say that I think this movie is okay. It could have been better, but there are some redeeming qualities about it that I will uh, address. But I think first and foremost, I want to be careful on how I word this. I found it to be an issue with the fact that this movie never said the T word, never said transgender, not even once. I could be wrong. Uh, it was late at night when I watched it, but I was paying close attention. No one said the T word. Everyone said, you know, he's unique. You know, he's special. You know, he likes this stuff uh, other than this stuff. And it's just for a movie that is very pro LBGTQ, um, which is great. I just felt it kind of weird that they kind of hid from the word a little bit because that's the correct terminology. So I found that to be kind of weird. And the other thing was Jake was hardly seen. There was a lot of shots where it was from behind his head or from the side of his head. He had very long hair, so kind of covering his face. There was a couple shots where it showed like front, side, maybe from far away. But that's about it. We got a handful of shots of Jake. And essentially this is about him kind of dealing with all this stuff like he's four years old he doesn't really comprehend that he's transgender yet and i figure that's what the movie was going to be about i mean i don't mind if you mix in the parent stuff with his stuff but i just found it kind of odd that he was first of all barely in the movie and then barely even seen now if silas the director was making an attempt to hide him and hide the t-word because it's really taboo Unfortunately, in today's times where people can accept it and so people discriminate and all that stuff. And so if that's why it, it was kind of like, you know, a uh, hidden meaning type of deal, I guess I can kind of see that. But, you know, for a movie that is very pro LGBTQ community, I just felt it kind of weird that they hide away. They hid away from the T word and they didn't really show Jake that much. Um, that's kind of my only complaints, like major complaints. 
um, with the actual story and storytelling that Silas decided to do. The overall story is fine. Um, I wish it, it was uh, a little bit more focused on Jake, um, but I, I think it's a it's a fine movie. Um, uh, another negative thing, uh, I will say that the overall look of the movie is, is once again fine, but some of the daytime scenes in the apartment uh, that they had, um, it kind of looked like an SNL parody skit um, where <laughs> they do those like fake commercials and it's like overblown and it just looks really... Um, studio lit and just looks really odd um i did notice that a little bit i was like man this looks like an snl commercial so there was that so to get on to some of the good stuff i do think that the acting all all around is the anchor of this movie and claire dane she's always she's always great octavia spencer always great um jim parsons was the question mark because like i said i'm not a fan of his show that doesn't really impress me outside of the show I've seen him once walk across a red carpet, so <laughs> that's my experience with the man. Uh, barely watch his show, barely watch his movies, but I've seen I've seen him in real life. Um, it was a little bit difficult to believe him as uh, a f- a father and married to Claire Danes. It took me a while, but as the movie kept going, he got better for me. Um, and maybe that's just because it's the mentality of him playing like this geeky loner type of nerd on a Big Bang Theory, and then he just jumps into um, this person who's been married to, you know, uh, Claire Danes and like has a kid stuff. It's just, it's it's almost like the Elijah Wood Frodo situation. It takes a while to adjust. So I will say that during the first act i was like i'm not really believing this i'm not really believing his character i'm not feeling this uh from jim parsons but after that first act i would say that he got better and towards the third act he's actually the reason why i'm going to bump this up a half a grade so he got really good to a point where like i didn't want the movie to end i was like okay cool let's let's keep going and then it just ends and you're like oh (laughs) i kind of wanted to follow this family around and stuff so A little rough on Jim Parsons at first, but he slowly got better um, as the as the film went on. And of course, you know he's a part of the uh, LGBTQ uh, community as well. So I think it's amazing that he was in this, representing uh, the community, uh, and then also um, producing it as well. So he was one of the kind of spearhead uh, people on this project. So thank you, uh, Jim, for bringing these movies uh, to life. So yeah. you know, and then, of course, you know, with, like, Jake himself, um, with him getting bullied and him kind of uh, exploring um, himself and everything, those scenes are fine, but once again, they're either told off camera or they're very few and far between, and I really wish there would have been a little bit more to his story, considering that his name is in the title and it was primarily about the parents and kind of wish it was a blend, but so... Not a bad movie, not a good movie. It's just kind of, it's okay. But I'm going to give it that slight plus because of Jim Parsons uh, and Claire Dan- Actually, Claire Dan's both just getting better as the movie kept going. And then I believed their relationship towards the end. I, I felt that uh, emotion. I was just like, there it, is. there it is. I wish that was there at the beginning. So I'm going to give a kid like Jake a C plus. Um, I, w- I wish it was a, l- a little better, but, you know, for what I got, um, it was a pleasant watch. And I would still recommend it. Um, but it just it just wasn't um, really for me to where I would want to watch it again. Um, so yeah, so what'd you guys think of a kid like Jake or have you even heard of it? Comment that place was right below my face and let me know. And I'm Chase Lee, guys, and that has been another movie review. And I will see you next time for whatever I review next. And I will see you guys later.